me. So there are some, there's some instruments on the, that I was hearing that made me write some stuff that is not eating what they are giving me. So I could not eat it and people are not feeling it. It's playing with my head. So I get that. So let me tell you something about performance because everything is a learning curve, right? I'll tell you the first thing. When the sound you're listening to doesn't match what you're saying, nothing stops you from saying, I want to do this a cappella. And use your voice as an instrument. If there's notes you want to hit, if there's melody you want to hit, if you think you're going to get a better shot, you might even get more points just because you decided to do it differently. Do you understand? I've been where you are today. I've been in a live competition and the music went off. Do you know what I did? Do you want to know what I did? I started rapping a cappella. Then I jumped off the stage and started rapping to the people in the audience. I won. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to keep your head in the game. Anything can happen. If it's your own performance, if it's your own show, the music goes off. All that, look, when you're performing, we don't want to see that emotion unless it's part of the act that you are doing. So it's a learning curve. Oh, they're doing something wrong. Do you know how many times we're on stage and you want to kill your whole team and you just finish and kill the performance? They'll just be see energy. They don't know it's anger. And then you go back there and you cuss everyone out. Do you understand what I'm saying? As a performer, you are the instrument, you are the product, you keep your head in the game. Nobody cares what's going wrong. Some people travel from very far and wide just to watch you. Then because the band is not playing what you rehearsed, you will now cry. No, you do it for that one person that came to watch you play. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then you never leave your audience without communicating. It just, it just looks like bad behavior. Yes, you're having a hard time. Just speak to us. We were here rooting for you. Oh, I'm sorry. This wasn't what I rehearsed. Please give me a minute. Or I'm going, you know, I'm going to pass on this or something. You don't ever, you know, so that's why I'm saying this is a learning curve. Because where you're going to and what you want to do with your career, these are things that are not acceptable as a professional. Bruh, I think you're fortunate for two reasons. Number one, you have Sasha, P, and Vector. Number two, you're on TV. Because first of all, what you did was totally, utterly disrespectful. How dare you walk away on your judges, on your people, on your fans, on people who are rooting for you, no matter how the team want paying you rich. Eh? See, a bad workman complains of his tools because quite honestly, it can be as bad as you are saying it. You grit your teeth, you go through it, you get off the stage, then you do whatever you want to do afterwards. I'm having to hold myself back right now. There's so many things I want to say. How can you? How? How? Like, I'm just imagining in which world, which artist I know would actually pull off what you pulled off, right? And that just speaks to, you know, where we're sort of, where we're going with music, you know, generally. You know, those feelings, they say even on your worst day, don't spoil the show. So I'm just imagining that a bunch of people paid 50K a pop to come and watch you. You they perform for TBS and then you you walk off the stage. Who's going to refund the money, the transports, the love, everything that they used to come and watch you? What do you want the show promoter to how do you want the show promoter to feel? Do you